the real reason Kyrie Walker was deranked by ESPN and lost all his clout was just exposed. And we're going to get right into it and break it down. Now, first and foremost, Kyrie Walker, if you guys don't know by now, was one of the best players coming out of middle school. I have to say he was doing a lot of things on the court that people his age were not doing. And I continue to keep hyping him up because he was a great prospect that a lot of people saw is honestly one of the best players coming out of even high school as well. Now, he played against a number of really good players such as Jalen Green, Devin Askew, and a number of really top talent guys that clearly are playing at the next level and everyone is wondering what happened to Kyrie. Now first and foremost, one critique about Kyrie is that he is older than his actual age he's supposed to be at. Now a lot of people criticize him how old he is and that he reclassed a number of times and I do believe he may have reclassed a couple of times but at the end of the day, we're still talking about basketball and the goal is the NBA for him. Now in a recent interview, he actually had stated that he is trying to look and get drafted in the 2021 NBA draft. And man, a lot of people are questioning, man, really what happened to him? All of a sudden he seemed like he was one of the best players in high school basketball. And then the older he got, man, things just did not look as good for him as they did before. Now Kyrie Walker actually showed out in a recent interview and talked about what happened with his rankings. And this was shocking. Now Kyrie had actually stated that he was probably top five to top 10 recruit in his class before senior year. And that's what I would agree with. He was one of these players who was really killing on the court and I think held an excellent spot. Now it was very interesting because we all thought Kyrie would end up going to a really good college and moving forward, but something shocking happened. Now Kyrie Walker actually decided to take off his senior year to try to work on his game and not play. Now this is really a big factor into the reason why he was no longer on the ESPN rankings because one, if you're a top recruit and they don't see you play, this is going to be an issue. If you're looking to get to one of these really good colleges or move forward after high school basketball, rankings can help you get some some visibility and get a foot in the door of course they are not everything but in addition to this Kyrie not playing really ended up hurting him because a lot of coaches have not seen him think about it he is trying to get into the 2021 NBA draft and the majority of coaches have not seen Kyrie play since he was a junior and that is a very long time and can hurt you in the long run now when Kyrie Walker saw that he was actually ranked about 200th in the country he was shocked and couldn't understand it just because he had sat out and not played his senior year was the reason reason why this had happened, but it really didn't make too much sense. He clearly hadn't made too many moves and was just working on his game. How could he be deranked this badly? Now in an interview, Kyrie had actually stated that he talked to his coach about it and the people who actually determined the ranking stated that Kyrie Walker was too cocky on the court and they didn't like his game. Now this clearly shows so much politics that goes into basketball and specifically rankings. Man, if you have a name or if you're on the good side of these people who do come out with the rankings, clearly you are going to be ranked. Of course, there is a lot of bias to these ESPN rankings. If you have any type of connection to ESPN man, or Nike, odds are your ranking is going to be a lot higher than other prospects. And we know by now, just because you have a high ranking right now does not mean you're going to be a great player in the future. Now, personally, I saw this when Kyrie Walker was deranked as a pivotal moment in his career and things turned for the worst. Now, Kyrie Walker, of course, decided not to go to college and went to Chameleon BX's training facility, which lasted about 12 months for just to work on his game and get drafted. He didn't want to go to college and really risk the chance of going and not playing at the college level. Now, we can understand why Kyrie Walker actually made this decision, because one, why would a player want to go to college if he's not going to be playing at all? It was clearly a tough decision and he had to make one either try to go the college route or just train and then go to the draft and his goal is to get to the NBA and at the end of the day this seemed like a good option for him at the time now a lot of fans disagreed with this and thought he should still even try to go to college because it would set him up a lot better for the NBA than just a training facility you getting in-game experience playing against really good players at the NBA level if you go to an excellent team would have been a great opportunity for Kyrie Walker really to show what he could do on the court now Kyrie Walker currently right Right now is about 6'6", 215 pounds and is looking to get drafted in the 2021 NBA draft. And man, I don't know if things are looking too good for Kyrie. Now, I'd actually done some research on Kyrie Walker and his draft stock, and I could only find one website that had estimated him being the second round pick in the NBA draft. But this website was updated a very long time ago. And really, I don't see him on any draft boards. And man, I think the biggest mistake here was going to Chameleon BX. Now, the reason why I've been 
been stating that Kyrie Walker may in fact end up going back to college is because another player from Chameleon BX who is a top tier talent decided to open up his college search and is now looking to try to go to college and leave Chameleon BX. Now clearly for one year I think this may be a good move but if Kyrie can go back to college and try to play at a really good school such as Memphis because of course he did have interest in going to Memphis and was trying to go to that school previously before he decided to go to Chameleon BX. Man I think that could be a great option for him as well. It would really give him some more game experience and some more time to play against top tier competition so that he can make sure he's ready for the NBA. Of course he's been putting in so much work but the problem here is visibility. No one can see what he's doing on the court and think about Kyrie getting somewhere like a March Madness tournament even a conference championship. That would be a great place for Kyrie Walker to really execute and show what he's improved on. We The last time we saw Kyrie play was back when he was a junior and it's really tough to base someone's game just off highlight tapes and what you're doing in practice when we haven't seen any real in-game footage and Kyrie Walker needs that in-game practice to show these coaches that he can play in the NBA level. Now you going to college is really going to be one obstacle for Kyrie but two it would really show if he can play with these guys or not and if he's NBA ready. Whenever players do go to college basketball man you can look at them and pretty much tell will their game be able to facilitate and really work in the NBA level or will it not translate at all and I think this is what Kyrie needs to do. Going and trying to put his name in the NBA draft may not end up well just because a lot of these NBA scouting sites don't even have Kyrie Walker on their list and this to me is really sad because Kyrie is such an excellent player and has put in so much work over these years I think for sure if he went the college route he would be able to get to the NBA easily but it may take just a little bit more time for him to get there than he wished than he would have hoped now, in my opinion, the best option for Kyrie would be to test the waters with the NBA draft if he sees his stock is not going to be high, which clearly as of right now, it doesn't look that way. I would try and go to a college team. He really has nothing to lose. And although he wants to try to hit the NBA as soon as possible, I think it is very likely and a really good decision if Kyrie would take an opportunity and try to go back to college. This dude clearly has a lot of talent and we wouldn't want him to go and try to get to an NBA team too early. And you guys know what happens if you do not prove yourself. Once you get to the NBA, you are playing against the top competition in the world. If you're not able to demonstrate your game and really get buckets on the court in whatever position he would like to play moving forward, if you cannot do that, you will be off a team and either in the G League overseas or out of a job. And that's not what we want to see. This guy clearly has a ton of talent. And I think if he went to college, man, this would be a great option for him. But I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below. First and foremost, man, how old do you think Kyrie is as of right now the internet is saying he's 20 years old but do you guys agree with that or not and let me know in the comments down below do you think he actually has a chance at making the NBA straight from Chameleon BX or does he need to go back to college work on his game and try to get to the NBA that way let me know in the comments down below make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications get a notification every time I upload a new video it's LNH I'm out